All right, guys, so I'm going to make, try to make a quick video. I always say that every time, but um, give you guys a peek at uh, my rabbit breeding. But uh, what I've done here, or what I'm working on, is um, <clears throat> an automatic water system for these guys. And uh, it's heated as well. So what, what my goal is to do is to keep the water heated and where I don't have to uh, fill water bowls and chip ice out during the winter. It gets pretty cold here. It gets below zero sometimes. So what I've done for back here is I've uh, trenched a water line from my house, which is basically straight ahead across down through here. I've put a hydrant in. So like a frost frost proof hydrant and uh, I've also, on the, where it comes up through the ground, I've insulated and put a heat cord on there to kind of help preheat the water. Eventually, I'm going to cover this up right here, probably with a that blue barrel and insulate the inside, cut one end off, insulate the inside of the barrel, set it down over here. Maybe you can do like a little rock pad. And uh, so anyway, so the water comes up through the hydrant, goes to this splitter, uh, goes through a regulator, Okay, and then uh, I've, I worked for the city, so I was able to get a hold of a water meter to kind of monitor my water usage. Um, right now, it's kind of slowed down. It's They're pulling about seven to eight gallons of water a day. And uh, <clears throat> so it goes through the meter, goes into a T. And what I've done here is I've built like a, a closed loop system. So what happens is uh, the water, and there's a T, and down further downstream, I've got a pump going. You can probably hear it. So what's going on is the flow is going from left to right. So what it does is it comes through uh, to the right. So you can see I've started, this is half inch pecs right here. So I've kind of laid it on the ground and insulated it with foam. But uh, it comes up to my first, to my first cage. Goes into a, uh, <clears throat> I like a little T valve, and what I've got is a an inline aquarium uh, water heater. It's a 300 watt heater. It's automatic, so the water flows down through the heater, back through the green hose, continuing to the right. And on the back of the cage here, um, it's half inch PVC, and along each hole where each rabbit is, there's a water nipple. So. So the water enters the, the first heater, it preheats the water, and comes to the first water nipple, watch out. Hits this water nipple, so they bite it. It's pretty good pressure right now, but actually these nipples don't have the, uh, uh, the flow reducer in them. But, so they bite that, the water comes out, and what happens is, the water continues on to that hole, to that hole. And then, basically, it zigzags from cage to cage. So, exits here, goes along to this cage. Just, you know, just the same as the first cage. In every hole, there's a water nipple. If you guys can see it in there. But, it's every cage, and the water line comes along this cage, a bit like a little two by four support, keep it up off the ground. Goes into this cage, goes along the back, hits the, the half inch PVC pipe, and goes into all the water nipples, and then circles back around to this cage. Same thing, there's two water, I haven't insulated the back part, but in between all the cages there's half inch pex pipe comes from this cage along here again so i just rigged this up tonight so i'll uh turn this off for time being but anyway the water comes in this pipe into the pump back out around back up through this uh another heater and heats the water again goes up through and continues on into this cage just, just like before. So all these cages, it goes from one cage to another. Okay. 
to this one. Here's one of my very first cages. It's a, it's a mess. But you see the water nipples right there. That's where the rabbits drink. And this cage goes along the back side of this one. Let's see if I can get it back here. So you can see the water nipples through there. Just each hole. So the water's continuing. It goes on to the next cage. So they're all daisy chained together. This is like my second cage I built. And then to the final cage. This is my nicest one because it's got magnetic doors. There's no latches or nothing. It's all automatic. There's six holes in this one. Everyone's got a water nipple. Now I've got this one. You got a, a stick in the. Uh, watch out. In there to let the air out. So I'll pull that. These are uh, actually the water nipples are uh, made by Monoflow. They're for pigs. But the nice thing about those is there's a little button on the back when you take them out that you can control the flow rate. So out of this cage, it goes back into the PEX pipe and back to my hydrant. So I've got a little bit more, quite a, fit, quite a, quite a few more cages I have to insulate. But uh, so far, hopefully these, these heaters will be sufficient enough to keep the water warm enough and the flow past the nipple. Uh, there'll be enough heat transfer to keep the nipple from freezing. So um, anyway, guys, hopefully uh, this weekend it's going to be freezing. So this is one of my main goals to get done. So... And hopefully the system works. Last year I got maybe uh, two cages and didn't get near as far on my setup. So, but uh, all right, guys, this is it. Part of my rabbits. All right, guys, have a good night.